How to convert a rectangle uh, to a nerve surface using the rectangle to surface component from parametric house. And in the parametric house submenu, you will find the rectangle to surface component. Uh, if you put it on the canvas, you can see that there are some inputs uh, in the default uh, component. So if I just right click on the rectangle and extract it, there's a rectangle here, uh, which you can change it. For example, I can go to Rhino and draw a rectangle and just go to the parms menu, put a curve component, set it to the rectangle and give it to the rectangle input. Uh, now you can see by changing the input, it's going to update the final results. Remember that it's uh, it can be uh, a non-uniform rectangle. I mean, if I change the location of the corners, you can see this is also going to give you different results because uh, it's based on a four-sided polygon. You can also double click on the cluster to find out how we have made this. For example, we have exploded into segments, extracted uh, the edges, then connected the uh, mid edge to the center and then extracted a point and moved it in the uh, 3D space up and then connected as a series of curves. And finally, we have uh, produced uh, two set of curves here as you can see uh, from a mid edge here to uh, the uh, mid edge at the end and then we have also extracted the sub curves which is going to be these curves and finally uh, to produce the final surface, NURB surface uh, we have made a series of UV curves so the U curves is going to be like this and the V curves is going to be like that. And then just a network surface will do the job and make the NURBS surface. Uh, finally, we have also used the ISO curve, which you can see we have used the construct point for a UV extraction. So you can extract the UV curves. Okay, let's go back to the component. Uh, for the T0, you can give it a number between 0 and 0 0.5. And this is going to be the point. Uh, let's just uh, increase the number of digits we can give. Uh, it's actually going to be uh, the location of the point from the mid edge to the center. Okay. So remember that you have to change that number, but don't increase it above 0 0.5 because it's going to give you uh, some intersections here. So I'm going to give that between 0 and 0 0.5. So I always get a good nerve surface as the results. Okay, uh, the next one is the height. Obviously, it's going to be the uh, height of these curves. So if I give it to the height, you can see you can start from zero and bring it up. That's going to be uh, the height of the curve. For example, if it's 70, you can see uh, uh, if I give a distance between here and here, it's going to be something like a 70 okay the next input is the number of u curves so i'm going to say from 1 to 12 maybe if i give it to the u curves uh, you can see that it's dividing the u to 1 let's just copy paste this and give this to the v curves and if i increase it i can get more uv curves as the outputs uh, finally you can bake the nerve surface in right now here and also if you want the U curves, you can use it in your projects. For example, I can maybe go to the surface and use it as a pipe. For example, I can give it to a pipe and also maybe a radius. 
And if I use the shift key to give it to the V curves, I can also have it like this. This is how you can use the rectangle to surface component from the parametric house plugin.